I'm so glad you've popped in for virtual story time with the Keller Public Library. I'm Miss Kelly, and I'm going to read the story today. If you know my special online welcome song, please sing now. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Let's read a book and have some fun. And though we may be far apart, know that you're still in my heart. And we're together here online. We can smile, we can smile. It's story time. Thanks for singing. Today's stories are about one of my favorite snacks, popcorn. I think popcorn is both delicious and fun to eat. Do you like popcorn? If you have a story time to go pack with popcorn on it, please have your grown up help you open it and decide how you can follow along today with these supplies. If you don't have a pack, don't worry, you'll still have a lot of fun. Before we read a story about popcorn, I wanted to teach you about where popcorn comes from. It comes from corn, of course. So we're going to look at a few pages of this book, Corn, by Gail Gibbons, to see how it grows and becomes one of our favorite snacks. Let's look at it now. Corn by Gail Gibbons. We're just going to read parts of this book. It's pretty long. Corn is so good to eat. Look at all of the ways they're eating corn. This is what a common corn plant looks like. It has roots that grow into the ground to soak up nutrients and water. It has a stalk, and from the stalk grow ears of corn with leaves and a tassel on the top. This is what it looks like inside an ear of corn. The husk is the outer peel, the kernel are the little yellow pieces inside, and the cob is what holds it all together. It is generally agreed that there are four different types of corn. Sweet corn, which you've probably eaten on the cob. Popcorn, which you pop then eat. And flint corn and dent corn. This is how corn is planted kernels or corn seeds. A plow and row planter are used to turn over the soil and plant the seeds inside of the ground. Do you see the farmer driving the tractor to pull the plow? A corn stalk begins to grow. Cobs covered by husks appear. This is how small the corn is after about five days. This is what it would look like after four weeks. And this is how tall it might be after eight weeks. In order for corn to grow, it needs to undergo a process called pollination. Breezes blow grains of pollen into the air and pollination occurs when the pollen from the corn tassel sticks to the corn silk from another plant. This happens about two months after the corn is planted. Hundreds of strands of corn silk, the soft tassels at the top, grow all along the cob and out of the top of the husk. Each ear of corn has many silks. At the end of each silk is an egg attached to the cob. Pollen moves down the corn silk. And when the grain of pollen and the egg join together, the egg is fertilized and that grows a kernel. There is one corn silk and one egg for each kernel of corn on the ear. Sweet corn is harvested or picked 
before the silks turn brown and while the kernels are still tender. The average corn plant is about eight feet tall. That's taller than a very tall man. The average ear is about eight inches long. Three to four months after the corn has been planted, the corn silks begin to turn brown. This means the kernels are, kernels are ripe and the corn is ready to be harvested. Some people even grow corn in their gardens and pick it by hand. I'll bet it tastes very yummy fresh that way. Much of the corn that we grow is used to feed animals, like cows, pigs, or chickens. Here are many other ways we use corn. There are different ways to eat the corn, but we can also grind it up and use it as flour. We can use it as fuel in some of our machines. We can even use it to make cloth, paper, and glue. Did you know that? Corn can also, of course, be nutritious and delicious. Like when you make it as popcorn. There's more facts about corn in our book. some interesting things about how corn grows and is harvested in that book. Well, do you know the next step for making popcorn? Have you ever watched your grown-up make it? I have a little rhyme that will help you remember how to make popcorn. When you hear me say the word pop, give me a big clap. And when you hear me say the word popcorn, give me a little bounce. Here we go. Pour the kernels in the pot. Pop, pop, pop. Shake it till it's hot. Pop, pop, pop. Lift the lid. What have you got? Pop, pop, pop. It's popcorn! Let's do it one more time. Pop, pop, pop. Pour the kernels in the pot. Pop, pop, pop. Shake it till it's hot. Pop, 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 lift the lid. What have you got? Pop, 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 it's popcorn. Let's read a story about popcorn. This is a bear book by Frank Ash and it's just called Popcorn. It takes place around Halloween time. It's almost Halloween, isn't it? Let's look at the book and see what happens. Popcorn by Frank Ash. This book was written to Mark Allen Stamate. One fall night, Mama and Papa Bear went to a Halloween party and left Sam home alone. Papa Bear says, take good care of the house and we'll bring you a present. So he called up his friends and invited them to his house for his own Halloween party. While he waited for his friends to arrive, he made himself a costume. Bear says, wear a costume and bring something good to eat. The first to arrive was Betty. I brought some popcorn for the party, she said. The second to arrive was Billy. He brought popcorn too. Bernie, Bonnie, and Buster also brought popcorn. In fact, everyone brought popcorn. The party was lots of fun. When Betty said, hey, let's pop all that popcorn, everyone thought it was a good idea. With some help from his friends, Sam lifted Mama Bear's great big kettle onto the kitchen stove and poured in all the popcorn. He added some oil and salt and turned on the stove. Soon, it began to pop. Pop, pop, pop! 
There was so much popcorn, it quickly filled the kettle and spilled out onto the floor. There was so much popcorn, it filled the whole kitchen. It spilled out into the living room. It filled all the rooms downstairs and crept upstairs. There was so much popcorn, it filled the whole house. What happened? Help! Who turned out the lights? Where did everybody go? Some party. Get me out of here. Everybody wanted to go home. But Sam said, no, you've got to stay and help me get rid of all this popcorn or I'll be in huge trouble. Munch, crunch, crunch, munch, munch, crunch, munch, gulp. They ate and 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 ate until all the popcorn was gone. I don't care if I ever see another piece of popcorn in my whole life, said Buster. I feel like my stomach is going to burst, said Betty. Mine too, said Bobby. Sam felt the sickest of all. He said good night to his friends and cleaned up and went to bed. Later that night, Mama and Papa Bear came home. Wake up, they said. We brought you a present. What is it? asked Sam. Popcorn, they replied. The end. Wow, that was a lot of popcorn. I wonder how much popcorn it would take to fill the library and how many bears would we need to eat it all? <laughs> well, now that we've learned where popcorn comes from and we've read a fun popcorn story, I want to show you a couple of pages in this book called Science You Can Eat that tells you why the popcorn pops when you heat it up. Have you ever wondered that? Let's look at these pages and see. This book is called Science You Can Eat and it's by Stephen Gates. We're just going to look at two pages in this book. Why does popcorn pop? That popping sound you hear when you cook popcorn is part of what makes it so much fun. But have you ever thought about what causes that noise? There is a lot of science behind that pop, pop, popping. What's popping? Inside each popcorn kernel is a starchy filling and a little droplet of water. When the kernels are heated, the water turns to steam and builds pressure in the shell. When the shell can no longer take the pressure, the starchy center explodes with a pop, resulting in the tasty popcorn we love to eat. Look, this book says what our other book said. There are four main types of corn, dent corn, flint corn, sweet corn, and popcorn. Popcorn kernels have a hard shell, but they're soft inside. They are the only type of corn that pops. If you cook sweet corn this way, it will just turn soft and mushy. Ugh. Here's a recipe for making your own popcorn. There are many other experiments that you could do with popcorn. I wonder if you'll try some at home. Now that we know the science behind why popcorn kernels pop, let's learn a song about it and practice counting. We'll start by counting up the number of kernels in the pot. One, two, 
three, four, five. We have five kernels. Now remember, the kernels outside is tough and dry, but there's water in the middle. And when it gets hot, the steam, it won't stop till pop goes the kernel. Sing with me and let's turn all the kernels into popcorn. The kernels outside is tough and dry, but there's water in the middle. And when it gets hot, the steam, it won't stop till pop goes one kernel. So how many kernels do I have left? Count up and see. One, two, three, four. The kernels outside is tough and dry, but there's water in the middle. And when it gets hot, the steam, it won't stop till pop goes one kernel. Now how many kernels are left? Let's count up and see. One, two, three. But the kernels outside is tough and dry but there's water in the middle and when it gets hot the steam it won't stop till pop goes one kernel how many kernels are left now count up one two and the kernels outside is tough and dry but there's water in the middle and when it gets hot the steam it won't stop till pop goes one kernel now how many kernels are left this one's easy one the kernels outside is tough and dry but there's water in the middle and when it gets hot the steam it won't stop till pop go wait a second how did you get in there you sneaky little candy corn you're not supposed to come out until october well anyway there's no kernels left zero thanks for counting with me there are many different ways to enjoy popcorn. Some people like to melt butter and pour it on top. Or maybe sprinkle salt or cheese or other spices. You can even pour caramel on it and then it will get crunchy and sweet. Well, I thought we might want to move around a little bit now. So I have a fun song that is a move along. You may want to pop like popcorn with me, or melt like butter, or do some pretend eating. Here we go. I'm popcorn in a pot. I'm popcorn in a pot. Pop, 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 pop. I'm popcorn in a pot. I'm butter in a dish. I'm butter in a dish. Melt, 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 melt. I'm butter in a dish. Caramel's my favorite kind. Caramel's my favorite kind. Caramel is my favorite kind. I eat it all the time. I do like caramel. What's your favorite popcorn? Let's look inside our pack to see what other kinds of fun we can get up to today with our popcorn supplies. With this worksheet and some supplies, you can show us what you learned about popcorn by gluing the kernels into the planting rows, the corn silk onto the corn cob, and the popcorn by the bucket. Also included in your pack is a pop and learn activity book. Each page has a different activity that will help you learn something by using some popped popcorn. You could also pour some into the bag and have a nice warm popcorn snack while you learn. I had great fun with you today learning about popcorn, rhyming and singing. If you'd like to send me any pictures of the way that you enjoyed story time today, I would love to see them. You can ask your grown up to email them to me. Library at cityofkeller.com is our address. Until I see you again, I hope that you keep reading. Bye-bye.